This is the second floor of the staircase. And on the second floor, the psychological process that's most relevant is displacement of aggression. Now, we in our everyday lives experience displacement of aggression. For example, John has a terrible day at work. He argues with his boss. Uh, when he gets into his car to go home, the car won't start. Finally, it starts, he gets into a traffic jam. When he gets home, he's hungry, tired, and he yells at his child and smacks his child. And when his wife asks him, why did you hit the kid? He says, well, it'll make him a better person. I taught him that it's a hard world out there. That kind of displacement is part of our everyday lives. However, in the Islamic world in particular, this displacement is being channeled by particular groups. If one listens to the rhetoric in North Africa, in the Middle East, in the Near East, and in many mosques around the world, at the moment, the narrative is that the United States in particular is to blame, that Israel in particular is to blame for all kinds of things. And the frustrations being felt are channeled at particular targets that are Western in general, but American and Israeli in particular. This frustration, aggression, this link, has been studied by psychologists for about 70 years now. And there's a lot of evidence that under some conditions, frustration can lead to aggression. It's not inevitable, but often it takes place.